All right, y'all. So this is part two. So yeah, this main male has been awakened by something. Okay. Um, and I'm, I'm feeling like it's like a soul awakening. It's almost as if they're deciding to choose their happiness here. Even with this page of pentacles coming out. Um, this person definitely has been very, when it comes to making plans for the future, they just have not been doing it. Okay. Three of swords upright. So much heartbreak. Okay, separations. I mean, shoot, you could be in a separation now or even getting ready to go through one. You know, it's a lot of things that have been ending is what I'm seeing. Yeah, look, everything is fine. So basically what I'm pulling in with that is that this person, this main male may say, I'm good. Everything is fine. And they're really not. They're still hurt. They're, they still have a lot of heartbreak. That's why they have operated in that reckless energy. But they're going through a transformation. So it's like a major phase is ending. Some type of phase is ending um, and it's happening quickly is what I'm, I'm hearing here. All right. So some stuff is definitely being made clear here involving this person. And where before they were doing things for their own personal gain here, it's now seeming like they may be ready to. They've been holding on tightly to whatever it is that they got to say. It's like they have not been saying it. Page. Um. Four of Pentacles coming out, okay, next to the Page of Swords. And instead of them communicating and executing these ideas, this person has been literally on the defense, not communicating. But now it seems like they may be coming through to communicate. They may want to talk to you now about something. All right, so, and what is that? What do they want to talk to you? My collective about an offer again. Ace of Pentacles, Seven of Wands. Then I got this Judgment card behind it, but maybe I, you know, that could have came out wrong. <laughs> Let's just put it that way, okay? And I'll pull on it though. But again, it's like some type of opportunity. They may they want to offer you something here. Um, it could be money. It could be love. It could be something you're trying to manifest, something involving resources. I don't know. It's like here with the seven of wands, it's, it's protectiveness. It's like this person is very protective over you um, because it is. It's a lot of adversity here or, or people or, or things like that that may challenge you. Okay. But I do see that you are protected, though, at the end of the day. But with whatever it is that's going on here... Um, why is this judgment in the reverse? They may have been lacking the self-awareness or uh, self their self-doubt, a lot of self-doubt. Yeah, the Knight of Cups in the reverse position. This person has not been really following their heart, okay? That's because they lack the self-awareness. A lot of cards came out. I don't like when they come out like that, y'all. So hold on one second. I'm gonna put them to the side because they frustrate me now. <laughs> like, come on, tell me about the sun and the Look, maybe the message ain't supposed to come out. I've been getting stuck. Tell me about the seven of wands. Yes, like you could be blocking your intuition here. Okay, like you don't even see this coming. You can't even see this coming because you may look at this person like they lack judgment or self-awareness. Or they, they be always in their ego. Like they not really going to come in and do nothing here. Um, this ain't going to go nowhere. This person ain't going to offer me nothing. So you may even have been like really trying to protect yourself from this person or you put yourself in a bubble like you're shielding yourself at this point and can and, and um really trying to stay connected to your center is what i'm saying you're trying to stay balanced okay um as well and this situation definitely makes you feel unstable or or, or something here but the star card comes out so yeah whatever is happening here it's some things that's really 
moving something is coming in this is gonna be abundant y'all like i'm talking about overflowing here okay you could be literally like in the limelight shining or whatever but however it's like high priestess in the reverse yeah it's like you can't really see though you may not see this you may not see this about you you may not see any of this the ace of cups comes in a reverse position you may only thing you may see is that thing is a lot of negative cha um changes it's like you're unfruitful in love or whatever it is that's what you see but you're actually the queen of wands you're actually like really shining, okay? I mean, for real, like whatever you're doing here is like you're sitting pretty right now and people see you, you're like a star, but you can't see it, okay? And it's, it's a lot that you're blocked off into in your intuition about, especially when it comes to that person. The two of cups in the reverse, I just seen five, five on the clock. It's a lot of disharmony, but that's that inner disharmony is what I'm hearing, okay? It has something to do with your own self-acceptance or your own self-love. But here with the Six of Cups coming out here, again, that's about harmony and stability. It really is harmonious, okay? You're getting a lot of happiness coming in because of your past efforts, even though you can't really see it, all right? And even with this person, it's like, even though they seem to come in, um, you know, never really seriously offering you something here. Yeah, the sun comes out, it's kind of sideways or whatever, but... Something that what I just heard, something stems from childhood. It's like these feelings that you may have and it keeps you from opening up or even seeing the brighter side. Okay, about what's happening here. You can't see it. You're blocking your intuition about it. And you may even be thinking the worst. Okay, so look at that. Five of Wands is in the reverse. But somebody's get it's getting ready to be some type of resolution or it's about to be the end of this conflict. All right, and it either somebody wants to call it a truth or they're ready to cooperate here. All right, so let me see something. I'm going to pull from a different deck real quick. Ship, child, and the letter. Let me tell you, it's about to go into a whole nother reading, y'all. <laughs> okay. A child and the letter. Okay. Hmm. Right, like, hmm, why did I have to get all of those messages? Tell me about the ship here. Somebody could be going on to prove you somebody's child. <laughs> but, show me about the ship here. You've been waiting for your ships to sail. <laughs> High increases in the reverse again. It's crazy, right? Especially when it comes to love. You've been really in manifestation mode, focusing on your goals here. And when it comes to love here, it's like, you may just be kind of like closed off from it. Because it's like you may have tried to shut yourself off from those feelings because you may feel boxed in, right? Is what I'm hearing, y'all. It may be a part three to this. But, um, yeah, it's like the ship is bringing in an exciting new adventure, you may have been stuck in your situation, caught up in the doldrums. I think I said that right. But now it's time to break away and brighten your horizons. This card is a transition. It's charting new directions. Okay, so this is some things here that are shifting and you don't actually see it yet. You don't see that things are changing is what I'm hearing. All right. And then the child comes out and um, it says, see things through a child's eyes. All right. Don't overthink the situation. Approach this with a beginner's mind. The card is about the child card is about new beginnings and fresh starts, depending on the circumstances. Okay, so the child card can also indicate the debut of a creative endeavor or career move, youthfulness, new approaches, cheerful, honesty, open minded. It also can represent a youthful person in your life, but in this case, I feel like it means it's representing you. And there could have been some type of text message that's going to come through or something here that's going to come through the mail here. In regards to that, tell me about the letter. It's like you can't, you're unable to move forward. Why? Because it's like it's a lot of baggage. There's a lot of stuff that you're still carrying and holding on to. Okay, so when somebody texts you... You may get like whatever that fear is or whatever you're holding on to, it kind of like resurfaces 
nine of pentacles comes up a lot of stuff has to do with your money that may be kind of like jack making you feel weird especially right but the